HeyDuke is an ultralight, all-in-one solution for base jumpers. It performs well from low freefall to terminal airspeed. Yes. Yes. What <laughs> was that? Holy cow. HeyDuke's been designed to be an all-around canopy. I've jumped it as low as 124 feet. I've jumped it at that gray area of base jumping with a slider up around 650 feet, all on heading, all comfortable openings. It seems to have that balance of I can fly it like a classic base parachute, slow, safe, in deep breaks, or I can decide to kind of get on risers and get it to maneuver a lot more quickly. The goal is a more balanced parachute that's very good at all things that we care about in the base environment. Good stall characteristics, good handling, good flare. Hmm. We've taken the best deep brake and slow speed features of the Outlaw, allowing you to sink it in on a steep approach, and applied it to a higher performance profile that delivers more agility, better flare, and better glide performance. Thanks to its rapid pressurization in the low freefall environment, Hayduke allows early control on rises and brakes. And when you combine those features with very low forward speed with deep brakes stowed, Hayduke offers a lot of passive safety in the slider off base environment. And at terminal, it delivers a progressive slider up opening. The float flaps concept has been applied to Hayduke, but we've widened the flaps and decreased the gaps at each segment, meaning that we have the same amount of airflow, but across a wider segment of the span. Hayduke has ZP across the leading edge, which encourages faster inflation. Bottom surface and ribs are made out of lightweight PN9 yeah. material. The combination of all these materials is trying to strike a balance between what we want in low bulk, low pack volume, but still better longevity for the entire parachute. Lightweight materials made base jumping better. <laughs> um, it's great, everything from hiking it up to the exit point, to packing it, to, in my opinion, how long parachutes are lasting. I mean, if you were trying to get only one base parachute, this would be the base parachute to get. While we've retained the best of the deep brake characteristics and that slow forward speed, we've worked really hard on dialing the handling and getting it to be very responsive and fast and quick on risers and brakes. Some of the performance characteristics on the Hayduke will only reveal themselves over a longer period of time, such as heading performance. Things like the flare, which is vastly improved, will be immediately apparent. It's super stable right about that stall point, which I love in base parachutes because if you're going to use that, it's probably a situation where you're facing something. Hayduke tends to respond in a way that you can still control it. You can just pivot yourself in one position, kind of a, a column straight down. If you have any questions about this stuff, call us up. We'll talk about parachute design. We'll tell you about profiles and where the center of pressure is on the Hayduke versus the Outlaw or versus other parachutes on the market. What we think about brake range and how it should be progressive, where the stall point should be reached, and how we should be flaring our parachutes. What's up, buddy? Hey. Hey, there we go. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. This thing's awesome. Yeah. <laughs>